Hey everybody, welcome back to Whiskey Central. If you're new here, my name is Shayla, and today we're tasting a $170 scotch, and we're gonna put it up against a $70 scotch and see how it compares. All right, so let's start with Johnny Walker Blue Label. This is a blend of malt and grain whiskeys from many different distilleries. The regular size of this bottle will run you about $170. It's owned by Diageo. It's a non-age dated scotch, and it's 40% ABV. It's aged in refill casks, leaning a bit more on the sherry side, and it is colored and chill filtered. Well, I already have a dram of this port, so let's move on to the Johnny Walker Green Label. Johnny Walker Green Label is a blend of malt whiskeys made at Linkwood, Craganmore, Kalila, and Talisker. This bottle will run you about $70. It's owned by Diageo. It's 15 years old, 43% ABV, and made from 100% malted barley. It's aged in refill casks, mostly ex-bourbon with a little bit of ex-sherry in the mix, and it is colored and chill filtered. All right, I think I've said enough about these whiskeys. Let's get into the tasting. All right, I've got the green label to the side. Let's start with the blue label. So it's interesting, you get a little bit of prickle on the nose, even though it's only 40%. You get some smoke on here as well. Not, not a ton, it's not crazy. You can tell that there's some sherry casks in here. It's nothing crazy, the, the casks aren't super active, but you get a little bit of a dried apricot and kind of sweet jam note. And then I get lemon, a tiny bit of a floral note, and some honey. And then it's kind of cool, you get kind of these darker notes. You get some cigar, a little bit earthy. There's also this metallic smell, and I don't know if that's from the older casks or if it's from the grain, but there's a little bit of a metallic-y kind of note in here. And I also get a kind of a foresty or like woodsy note. All right, let's go on the palette, cheers. So the peat shows up just a little bit more on the palate. It's not crazy peaty, but I am getting a little bit more peat on the palate. That's a lot of peas. It's a little bit nutty, which I didn't really get on the nose. I mean, it did have some kind of sherry notes, but a little bit more nutty on the palate. There's some sweetness, but it's, so you get a little bit of sweetness, like a little bit of caramel sweetness, but there's this the main kind of thing is like that earthy kind of cigar thing. And there's also a little bit of spice, just a little bit of kind of baking spice. Let's go for another sip. Cheers. This actually has a decent body for 40%. I thought it would be way thinner on the palate. I think that peat kind of helps a little bit. It's a little bit drying on the back end. I would say lower complexity. It's a pretty short finish. This is good, but let's see how the green label stacks up. All right, now let's go on to the green label. So this one's nose warming. It's kind of surprising though for having Kalila and Talisker in it. It does not smell very smoky at all. I am getting a little bit peat blind right now because I'm having too much. So to be fair, that might be just my peat blindness, but I think this is leaning way more on the Linkwood and Craganmore than it is the Talisker or the Kalila. The casts don't seem to be too active either for a 15 year old. I think you would expect a little bit more of a cask influence, but they seem to be a little bit on the, on the refill side. This is super duper fruity, like apples, pears, peaches, a little bit of lemon. And then one of my favorite notes on any whiskey is barley sugar. You get some barley sugar on this for sure. And then similar with the blue label. I'm getting a tiny, tiny floral note. I get some white tea on this, which I think this is the first time I've gotten white tea on, on a whiskey, so kind of cool. I love white tea. <laughs> um, it's also super malty. Got a little bit of honey in there as well. All right, let's go on the palate. Cheers. So first thing you get is a sweet sensation. It's a little bit drying on the back end. Pretty malty. There's a little bit more oak spice on the palate too. I wasn't really getting a lot on the nose from the cask, but a little bit more oak spice. A little bit of that fruit comes along too. Let's go for another sip, cheers. So this is a shorter finish. A Little bit on the lower complexity side. I think it's got nice body for 43% though. 
and it's got a good texture as well. It's slightly drying on the back, but that's not a bad thing. This is a pretty good dram, so I'm gonna finish it up and I'll be right back with my recommendation. So I think I like Johnny Walker Green Label more. They've got similar complexity, they have similar body and texture, even though Green Label is 43%, Blue Label has a little bit more peat, which I think carries it more, even though it's only 40%. And they also have a similar finish and development. Blue Label is a little bit more sherry, Green Label is a little bit more ex-bourbon, but for $100 more, for Blue Label being $100 more, I'm gonna go with the Green Label any day of the week. That being said, if you're at a bar, I would give Blue Label a try, but I don't think I would buy a bottle of it. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Whiskey Central. Next week, I'll be reviewing something that my patrons vote on. So if you don't want to miss out, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave it a like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Ah, dang it. Nope, fucked it up. Walker Green Label is a blend of malt whiskeys made it... Just son of a bitch. $7... $7 scotch. Yep. Boom, we're done. Yeah. By the way, Stanley Wagner, thanks so much for this little sample bottle. Now, to be fair, this is a sample bottle. Maybe there's some changes. I tried to give this amount of whiskey a little bit of air and this amount of whiskey a little bit of air to make it as fair as possible. I know this is a sample, but I tasted it a few times and I felt the same way each time. Like, I like this. It does taste really good. I do like the kind of darker, earthier side to it, but this is $70 and this is $170. I just can't justify buying a bottle of this, but I could justify buying a bottle of this. Like, I think for 70 bucks, this is pretty good. I do wish it was 46% and non-colored, non-chill filtered, but I'm always going to say that. So if you haven't tried either one, maybe try both at a bar, but I think you're going to like this better. Um, the first time I had it, I even got a tiny little bit of like a waxy character, nowhere near Deanston or Klein Leash, just a tiny, tiny little hint of it. So I'm not sure if maybe Linkwood or Cragmore has something going on there, but there was a little bit of that, which I really like. So yeah, I think save a hundred bucks, go buy yourself a couple more bottles, like a Brucladi and a Klein Leash and this, and, and call yourself probably happier. I just want to say thank you to all my patrons. I don't know what we're going to be at when this video comes out because this video is probably coming out in like four weeks, but we are almost at 50 patrons and I am just, I'm just so jazzed. Like I, I don't know. It's just the coolest thing. I love our little, you know, Patreon community. So I don't know. I just love you guys and thank you so much for supporting me, helping make these videos possible. And you guys are rock stars. I love you. And I'll see you tonight if you're going to be on the live stream. And I'll see you next week if you just watch my reviews. Bye.